The Picts comprised an ancient and enigmatic civilization inhabiting the eastern and northern regions of present-day Scotland throughout the Iron Age and the early years of the Middle Ages. While details about the origin, language, and culture of the Picts are still the subject of study, they have certainly played a crucial role in Britain's ancient history. The Picts' provenance is the subject of debate between historians and archaeologists. They are listed in Roman records from the 1st century AD, but their presence in Scotland is believed to be much older, with origins in the Iron Age or perhaps even earlier. The name Pict is taken from the Latin picti, meaning painted people, a possible reference to their tattoos or body paintings. Whilst the Picts are a culturally distinct entity in historical records, they may have evolved from earlier tribal groups in the region, or have interacted and blended with other tribes over time. While the Picts and Bretons were Celtic peoples, they had diverse backgrounds, particularly in relation to their involvement with the Roman Empire. While the Picts largely remained outside Roman control, the Bretons were, to a great extent, assimilated into the Roman world, shaping the subsequent development of both societies. The Picts took a significant role in the Roman campaigns in Britannia. They opposed Roman attempts at invasion, which led to the building of two major fortifications by the Romans, Hadrian's Wall and the Antonine Wall. Both were constructed as defensive lines to keep the Picts and other barbarian tribes out of Roman territories. The first direct interactions between the Picts and the Romans probably took place during Agricola's campaigns, as he was the Roman governor of Britannia between 78 and 84 AD. During the famous Battle of Mons Graupius, around 84 AD, the Roman forces encountered a large confederation of British tribes, which could have included Pict allies. Throughout the Roman occupation of Britannia, the Picts often made incursions south of the walls, posing a challenge to Roman rule and seizing moments when the empire was diverted by other crises. Late in the Roman Empire, when Britannia was less of a priority for Rome and defenses grew weaker, the Picts, along with other groups such as the Scots of Ireland, made more significant and destructive raids to the south. The Picts were known for their unique carved stones, displaying an array of symbols and images, many of which have remained a mystery. There is much and varied symbolism on Pictish stones, encompassing animals, objects, geometric patterns, and human figures. Most Pictish stones can be found in the northeast of Scotland, particularly in areas such as Aberdeenshire, Orkney, and Shetland. They can, however, also be found in other areas of Scotland. The Picts, who settled in present-day Scotland during antiquity and the early Middle Ages, were not a monolithic unit. Rather, they comprised a series of kingdoms or tribes that at times competed, but also united against external threats, particularly the Romans and later the Viking invaders. Each kingdom had its own king or tribal chief. Sometimes, however, especially when faced with external threats, a ruling figure emerged who exerted authority over several Pictish kingdoms. As time went on, the Pictish kingdoms began to unify under a single monarch, particularly during and after the 7th century AD. This was driven by external factors, such as the Viking threat, and internal factors like political alliances and marriages. The Pictish language is yet another mysterious subject. It is generally accepted that they spoke a Celtic language, but its exact nature in relation to the British and Gaelic languages is still controversial. Some scholars believe that Pictish was a British language, while others contend that it was a distinct tongue. The Christianization of the Picts is frequently associated with the mission of St. Columba, an Irish monk. In 563 AD, St. Columba and his companions founded a monastery on the island of Iona, off the west coast of Scotland. From Iona, St. Columba and his followers undertook missions to evangelize the Picts. Among the most famous stories concerning St. Columba is his encounter with King Bredi, ruler of a considerable part of Pictish territory. Reportedly, Columba visited Bredi's fortress, possibly near modern-day Inverness in Scotland. Columba impressed Bredi with his faith, wisdom, and the associated miracles during his visit. Bredi was consequently converted to Christianity, 
which had significant implications for the later Christianization of the Picts, as kings played a pivotal role in adopting and spreading the Christian faith among their subjects. The merging of the Picts with the Gaels is a pivotal milestone in Scotland's formative history. This joining of two distinct peoples led to the emergence of a unified Scottish identity. The Gaels, originally from Ireland, established themselves in the west of present-day Scotland, primarily in the region known as Dal Riada. This migration most likely began around the 4th or 5th century and established a significant Gaelic presence in the region. The Picts, on the other hand, mainly inhabited the northern and eastern regions. Viking raids near the end of the first millennium helped forge a closer union between the Picts and the Gaels. The two groups faced the Viking threat frequently, and it was often beneficial to rally against this common enemy. The Pictish king Kenneth MacAlpin is traditionally regarded as the monarch who united the Pictish and Gaelic kingdoms under his rule in the mid-9th century, establishing the foundations for Scotland's medieval kingdom. The nature and exact details of this union are a matter of debate, however. Some historians argue that it was less a merger and more an assimilation or even a conquest of the Picts against the Gaels. The Pictish story is a fascinating and, in many cases, mysterious topic in British history. While much of their culture and history remains unknown, their legacy bears traces of a resilient and artistic people who challenged one of the greatest empires in history and left a lasting mark on their homeland.